Uh, so good evening from uh, Chater Garden in Central. Uh, we're with Mr. Sorry, Mr. Kwok, Mr. Choi, Mr. Choi, Mr. Choi. I apologise. You've just spoken to the uh, crowd here of um, pro police supporters. Um, what are your concerns about the scenes you've been seeing over the last few weeks between uh, the police force and the protesters? Well, I do believe uh, there is not enough uh, information, not enough details on what we are fighting for, and so a lot of people have been misled, you know, to making these sort of protests because uh, there are of course uh, fears of uh, any legislation but what are laws are supposed to, to do is to protect those who are by by the law. Well some of the protesters are saying that the police have committed misconduct or brutality and that's why we saw uh, these big protests over the last uh, day. What, what's your message to them? However, you know, the protest is not about uh, police uh, brutality, uh, the uh, uh, protest is about, you know, uh, this uh, extradition law. It's about uh, uh, how we can sensibly uh, avoid uh, these uh, criminals, uh, real criminals, from uh, escaping the law of justice. So are you with a group or are you an individual here? Or? I'm just an individual, not with any, any group. But uh, what I don't want to see is that the society is torn apart. You know, a lot of young people, uh, they have their uh, aspirations, but yet uh, sometimes they do not have the whole picture. They do not understand the whole truth. And it is our duty to inform them, to make them know that what is happening is a part of a legal system that's got to be refined, that's got to be uh, fine-tuned, uh, and of course the government have their purpose because uh, what was broadcasted was uh, how uh, somebody was uh, apparently murdered uh, by her boyfriend and uh, in Taiwan and there is being no uh, 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 agreement between uh, these two places uh, they are stuck, we are stuck. So. Uh, this uh, policy, this uh, rule, is uh, trying to be established in order to establish a system of getting all these, uh, what we call what, uh, sentencing Fugitive. into seven years or higher, uh, then it would come into uh, the uh, 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 embracement of the law. Well, you talk about the extradition uh, uh, protests and uh, an issue, but tonight uh, in Chater Garden we see hundreds of people and it seems to be more about the police. And actually, of course, last Sunday we saw organizers said two million people um, protesting about the extradition law, but we saw a lot of anger about uh, the police action with tear gas, rubber bullets and uh, beanbags. Very unusual for the police to use uh, these kinds of... Uh, uh, means in Hong Kong. Uh, what, what's your response to that kind of uh, action from the police? Because uh, they say that I think five rioters were, were arrested that day, but uh, but many thousands of people were affected by that uh, tear gas. You know, in any situation like that, you only have to watch also the foreign news and see what happens there. Okay? Everyone got to have a balanced view. Uh, what happened? What was the cause? Right? If you are seeing two million people, how many policemen are there? Are these not people who have families, who have lives, who have their dignity, who have been charged to keep law and order? What are they to do to keep law and order for Hong Kong? I ask you, what would you do? Where do you come from? Which country are you from? Well, I, I live here for like 14 years. But you have been elsewhere 14 years ago. Where do you come from? What would your police do over there? Let me ask you. Well, we're seeing a some of... Clear question. Well, how did it feel last night? I'm from Britain. You're from Britain? So you know those people, the mounted police, what do they use? Well, well let me ask... Very gentle? Mm. Are very, very polite. Well, we see we see some of the uh, scenes you're talking about now on the uh, video. Mm -hmm. 
one side and not the whole picture. What, what do you think is missing? Because what is happening? Yeah. Over Europe, what is happening in America? You talk about brutality, police brutality. Look at your own nation. Well, well not me, uh, Mr. Choi. This is what many uh, protesters have been saying. And I see that we see these uh, videos um, of some of the protester actions. But what's your response to some of the protesters and legislators who have been also showing videos of, um, of police, you know, spraying tear gas into people? Legislators people's... conduct a sensible discussion. All right. If there are opportunities to reveal these legislations and discuss properly, who is the one preventing a meaningful discussion? Sometimes the young people overlook these minor facts. They have been misled, most of them. So, unfortunately, you know, some resort to violence. Why are they throwing things? Bricks, my dear friend. If one of those land on your head, what would happen? The police have suffered so much when people are hurling bricks. Now, these are not the law-abiding citizens. These are the people who are bound to stir up trouble. The police, wouldn't they have to defend themselves? and provide law and order for society. Well, many are saying it's uh, disproportionate, the, uh, the level of attack against the police versus their reaction. Disproportionate number of protesters to the policemen, wouldn't you agree? Two million against how many policemen? Well, I, I'm a journalist, so I have okay. no... Okay, that's what they are claiming, one million or two million. So what do you say to that? Well, what would the London police do? I, I, Have you I'm seen it? Have you seen what they do? So what, what do you um, think of you accuse the people when they're trying to really instigate law and order? Uh, what, what do you think about the scenes yesterday when uh, thousands were uh, surrounding the uh, Wan Chai uh, police headquarters and uh, throwing... Very unreasonable. It's very, very unreasonable, unruly. The police have been very, very restrained. And I think you agree to that too, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Well, I wouldn't give an opinion as a journalist, but, uh, but you? There, are, there is a lot of criticism, of course, uh, that you must have seen uh, among the public and anger about some of the police reaction. And do you not think that their reputation is, is taking, you know, their job properly? Do you think the media is biased against the police? The media only shows the most violent side. But you know what happens, who are the backers? So uh, you are the backers. Intelligence. Use your intelligence. Do you think there are foreign forces involved in some of the protests? What has been happening over the world? But is there evidence of a... Of course. Of course. Well, what would it be? You, you just uh, take a look. You are a journalist. You have been to many places. I, I would publish a story about foreign interference if we could find the evidence. Uh, but, but at the moment, it seems it is mostly uh, Democrats who are meeting, you know, politicians abroad. But we haven't actually been able to find any other you know, evidence of anything. I think uh, if you uh, put matters one-to-one, uh, -one, you'll be able to find that a lot of these uh, riots so this unrest, they have a certain foreign influence, okay? Uh, they, they say a certain leader has uh, uh, a lot of these uh, destructive weapons and then uh, the whole country tree was thrown in the turmoil and uh, the leader was killed and they couldn't find anything. All right, so being a journalist, you're well aware of that. So who is behind all this? Well, let me ask you one more question be before we leave because I appreciate you uh, speaking to us this evening. Um, a lot of people watching the rally tonight, they may have suspicions, you know, that, oh, this is a small group of police families or maybe they are 
paid by the government or the pro Beijing, you know, side. Uh, what, what do you, is this an organic protest? What do you think about the uh, people gathered here today and the people who criticize these kinds of pro Beijing, pro establishment? Uh, this you have to judge for yourself, okay? Because you have seen such scenes often enough. And I do believe, you know, this is something you should judge for yourself. That's, that's why we're here. All right. Mr. Choi, thank you for joining us. I do appreciate okay. it. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Would you like a chat? <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. It's, it's been tough to find somebody to um, have a chat with here. Uh, but as you can see, hundreds of people rallied by pro Beijing politician Letitia. Uh, sorry, pro Beijing activist Letitia Lee, who was just on the stage a little earlier showing videos of uh, some of the protesters' actions over the last few days. Um, this is in contrary to what the protesters have been saying in that they have suffered police brutality and misconduct over recent days. Um, they've criticized protesters for um, Apparently, posting personal details of, of police, of uh, throwing eggs and objects at the force, rallying people to support um, the police force, whose reputation has taken a battering over recent weeks following their um, use of tear gas, rubber bullets, beanbags. It's otherwise been pretty quiet today. Most of the um, protest occupations have um, dissipated. And I think there are small groups nearby of um, anti-extradition protesters. But otherwise, a mix of people, some wearing uh, blue ribbons in support of the police, um, gathered here in uh, Cheetah Garden in Central, where the rally is continuing till about uh, 9 o'clock. Hypindian 基本上我不知道他初初是怎樣 Yang 做一個監察的, well, I'm just standing at the back now so you can get some idea of the turnout. There's uh, some uh, police around the perimeter. Uh, but we'll see what the, the organizer and the police turnout are later on uh, when they give the figures. We'll leave it there, but uh, thanks for joining us tonight. It otherwise seems pretty quiet across the city. Nevertheless, uh, stick with us on Twitter and the website. Good night for now.